All right, what's up everybody? You're in the building with the Life Gains channel. I've got my big homie, Jail Harris, who has one of the fastest growing real estate YouTube channels in all of YouTube. He's been helping people do big things and he granted me an interview. He's took me under his wing because he's seen a young whippersnapper thinking he was doing something. <laughs> and he had to teach me the ropes a little bit. So Mr. Harris, how you doing today? I'm doing incredible. I'm doing incredible. How about yourself? I can't complain, man. Well, thank you for taking the time to jump up here and just allow me to introduce you to my audience and those that are love real estate as an investment. And I first want to get this going by asking you, tell us a little bit about yourself and what got you going in real estate. Back in, I want to say the late 90s, um, I was watching actually an infomercial and it, a, a lot of your listeners uh, may have heard this gentleman before by the name of Carlton Sheets. Okay. Well, what happened was he sparked an interest in me, and he kept talking about this concept called creative real estate finance. Right. And that is right. really where you go ahead and you, put, you purchase property with essentially no money or credit. That sparked my interest in real estate investing. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's, really, that's really how it started. From there... I just, I, I, it started to spark something in me. So what I did was I just became a, a, a student of this concept called creative real estate finance, which is out of buy property with no money or credit. Right. <laughs> and so, te so since you've been using that as a vehicle to get into real estate investing, tell us about what has been one or two of your biggest deals using those same principles. So I had a friend of mine when I was living in California, she had uh, inherited a property, a mother, unfortunately, had passed away. Mm -hmm. And she inherited this particular property. Now this property was a three bedroom, two bath home. And she comes to me because she knew that I was hot and heavy in real estate and I was active doing deals and that type of thing. And, and so what she was interested in was she was interested in selling her property. So I asked her, you know, how much do you want for your house? And she said, you know what? I, at the end of the day, if I got 350, 350,000, I'd be great with that. I said, okay, great. Let's go ahead and let's, let's, let's do it. And so what I did was I went ahead and I gave her a contract. Essentially, I didn't purchase the property with money or credit. I wrote up a simple agreement between me and her saying that I would buy her property on paper for $350,000. Right. Two weeks later, what I did with that contract was I went out, I found some investors, and in finding these investors, what I did was I went ahead and I sold that contract on paper for three seventy. dollars Okay. And so we closed that deal. It took us about maybe somewhere around two months, close that deal. At the end, at the close of escrow, I made $20,000. How did I make that? Simply by negotiating equity in a sense. In other words, she wanted 350, the investors would go ahead and buy for 370. They knew the property was worth 420,000. And at the close of escrow, everybody got what they wanted. And at the end, at the end of the deal, I made 20 grand. So, wow. So basically, what you just did was one thing that's hot on real estate called wholesaling. You, yeah. you just basically took someone who wanted to sell their property. You kind of told them what you felt like it would be worth to them. You put a, a price on it. You found investors that still saw enough meat on the bones or enough money that they right. could take this property, fix it up, whatever they need to do, and they could sell it for a higher unit. You didn't right. use any money, you didn't use any credit, and you walked away with $20,000 that you can use to invest in another property or something else you wanted to do. And you know, what, you know what's interesting about that, and you're, you're absolutely correct, this, this is the interesting part is, I didn't know that it was called wholesale. Okay. I, I, I didn't, in other words, I knew creative real estate finance, all I know, all I knew was I was buying a property at a lower price and I was selling it at a higher price on paper and I knew that I could make money. I didn't attach a kind of like a, 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 a label or a name to it. And I found out after that deal, it was like, wow, yeah, I essentially went ahead and wholesale that deal. So that's really what really got me hot and heavy about the lane and the aspect 
of wholesaling property. Man, that, that's amazing. And um, what would you say for newbies who they hear about these things, they want to get involved in real estate, and they want to know the easiest route for them to get involved in real estate? What would you say would be the easiest route or the path of least resistance for newbies to get involved in real estate? It would definitely be the aspect of wholesaling. So I get this question a lot on my channel. I get this question uh, from different walks of life. Everyone asks that very same question. It would be wholesaling. Wholesaling real estate, uh, if, if, if you're listening to this right now and you are looking to get into some aspect of real estate investing, you don't need money or credit. You can wholesale real estate. And people ask me, well, what does it cost? If you can tie up a contract for $10, mm -hmm. $10, you can wholesale real estate. You don't need money. You don't need credit. The thing that you need really is action. Okay. That's the thing that you need the most. Action and your ability to be consistent. If you can do that, you can win. Definitely. So, so okay. So for those who are new to it and, you know, they want to get involved with wholesaling, you know, because like we've already mentioned, you don't have to have a lot of money. Your credit don't matter. How would a person begin to get into wholesaling? And of course, they can learn more on your channel because I will have links for your YouTube channel and your Facebook group that does all these steps. But in a general sense, how would someone get started in wholesaling? So I did a video probably about a month ago, if not a little bit longer. And one of the things that I instruct people to do is do something called driving for dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, driving for dollars is this. You hop in your car, you drive around your local area looking for properties that are vacant and or abandoned or properties that just need a lot of work. Okay. Take the time to drive around these different areas, find these properties, write the addresses down. When you get the addresses down, take the time to go ahead and look up the addresses on your local county website to see where the owners actually live. Mm -hmm. Mail the owners a letter or go ahead and contact them via Facebook, whatever that is, get in contact with them, send them an offer. It is that simple. Gotcha. That's gotcha. Simple. Well, then, you know, so ladies and gentlemen, if you want to learn more about how to go through that process, follow his YouTube channel. Um, you can follow me. I do a little bit of it, but when I have the big questions, I refer to Mr. Harris because he's the big dog in this thing. <laughs> so, so having said that, for those other individuals that they've done wholesaling, um, they they're they're versed in real estate. What would you say is the future of real estate investing? Would you say it's going to be more land investing? Would you say people are going to start buying up malls because malls are having to go to a different model? from everything you've seen, and you've been in the game since 88, is that not correct? Yeah, so yeah. You, well actually, you know what, is I've been in the game, I wanna say since, I would say the mid 90s. Mid 90s, the mid 90s. Mid 90s, so yeah. you've, seen, yeah. you've seen decades of stuff. What do you think is the right. future of real estate? So it's interesting you say that. So I'm doing a couple of things right now, which many people that don't find this aspect of real estate, sexy, or whatever it is, land. Mm. Land investing, I, you know what, it's interesting, I'm talking to you right now, so I'm going to let your audience in on a little something, little conversation that I had recently, and everybody is worried about the market scare right now, in terms of the market, and I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you this, two things stand out to me when it comes to uh, uh, the future of real estate investing, I see land investing, Okay. Um, on financing, buying properties at 10, 15 cents on the dollar, turn around and selling it flipping it like you do houses, land investing is hot. Another thing, stick with houses, but do something a little different with houses as opposed to going ahead and renting a house. Think about renting rooms. Hmm. You're going to gain a lot more cash flow that way. If you buy and hold, you will increase your cash flow. Small apartments. The reason I say small apartments is you can turn that kind of like into a boarding house situation as opposed to renting uh, an apartment, let's say, for instance, I have a fourplex. Right. That's great. I have a fourplex. What about turning around and renting each room in the fourplex? If you've got a two-bedroom, one-bath fourplex, rent each room. 
to a boarding house situation, you over time will begin to decrease your risk. Gotcha. And those right there, if you stick to those, hot. Because even in a downturn, you will be fine. Wow. You will be fine. What, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, y'all get like a, uh, And I'm not going to point this, but it, it's, uh, I'll give you this. It's a term that I'm going to hit and I told a couple of people. It's almost like recessionary proof income. Mm. If you can do that. Okay. Yeah. You you giving out the good gems today for free. <laughs> Boy, I just learned something and that might have to start shaping the way I do more real estate investing. Right, I, right, I gotta start right. looking at that. So that's kind of the model of having a hostel or you know, kind of doing an Airbnb, but you're not using Airbnb, you are doing it yourself type model. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, I'm going to start to begin to get you out of here. I just wanted people to get to know who you are. We want to talk a little bit more about, you know, how uh, real estate has benefited your life. And we all get into real estate because it creates passive income. Basically, you spend money one time and this is yeah. going to start generating you money going forward in the future. So right. with you being able to have done this and gotten some passive income, what do you do in your spare time to relax and enjoy and basically live off your passive income? You know, uh, and I think I told you this a while back. One of the things that, as you know, people on my channel, they, they've seen a little girl. It's my little girl, my daughter, Imani. Uh, my wife and I, we get to do what it is we want to do. You know, we get to, uh, we're not under the constraints of, uh, things that a lot of other people have. Mm -hmm. You know, we have uh, this thing called residual income. We have, one of the things I say is we have the freedom to do and choose what we want to do. Right. Um, right. You know, one of the things about real estate is it's, it's a set up once thing and then it takes, it can take care of you for life if you set it up correctly and you have the right type of mentorship. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things I had uh, spoken recently, somebody asked me, what do you see real estate as? I said, to me, it's, it's uh, six Saturdays and a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Six Saturdays and a Sunday. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's like a vacation, you know, permanently. You know what I mean? So it's, it's done extremely well for us. Extremely well. For us. So, and, and I'll get you out of here on this. And thank you again for your time. Um, everybody who's in the real estate investing or business have read or have a favorite book that has helped inspire them and motivate them. So give us some of your favorite business or real estate books that you've read that help you get through. My go-to all day long for years has been uh, Think and Grow Rich. Okay. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Okay. Uh, another one has been... Um, the Cash Flow Quadrant mm. by Rob Kiyosaki, Robert Kiyosaki. Everybody knows him from Rich Dad Poor Dad. Right. Read that Cash Flow Quadrant. It will. It basically breaks things down into employee, self self employed, investor, business owner. And when you can live at the bottom half of the quadrant, which is the investor, business owner, that's where your six Saturdays and a Sunday come from. Gotcha. It's beautiful. Those two. Those two are my go-to all day long. Gotcha. Well, millionaire next door that nobody would know, I want to thank you for coming and getting <laughs> on this interview <laughs> and, and giving us these, these hot takes to help people to get motivated, get inspired in real estate. Again, tell them how they can find you on, your, on Facebook if they want to get involved with one of your groups. Uh, you can go ahead and find me on Facebook. Actually, it's a, a fairly new group, but it's actually close to 10,000 members. It's houseflippingfamily.com, mm -hmm. uh, houseflippingfamily.com on Facebook. Um, the the YouTube channel is House Flipping Guide. That's three words, House Flipping Guide. Uh, we just hit 20,000 uh, followers or subscribers. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's the, the interesting thing about it is I give away so much quality content, you know, so and, and it's helping a lot of people at the same time. Exactly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I will have links for all that so that you guys can 
catch up with JL in my video description. Definitely take a look at his channel because he's helping change lives, giving you guys all the information and the confidence to get going in real estate. And he's also taking out the paralysis analysis that's usually associated with learning a new skill. And that's going to do it for this video. Gerald, thank you for coming and doing this interview with us. Uh, not a problem. Not a problem. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be talking soon. We Definitely. will. We will. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Share, share, share this message of life gains, ladies and gentlemen, because real estate is definitely a life gain. And until our next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.